Hi there, I'm Justin Waite and welcome to this video, uh, basically looking at the ADVFN website. Today I'll be looking at how to run a screen, basically how to filter out companies that don't fit the criteria you're looking for. Now the ADVFN website is a huge resource and you can join free, just click the link below, register for free there, uh, but you can subscribe and you get more functionality. Uh, I use uh, on the site mainly monitor, uh, quote charts, news, alerts, and the bulletin boards there. But today, like I said, I'm gonna do um, a filter. So uh, click on site map, scroll down to UK Screen App Filter X. And right here, loading this page, they've got uh, preset filters. So growth essentials, large growing and liquid, cash cow plays, large dividend uh, plays there, dogs of the footsie. You can just click those and, and load one of those that are preset. Or you can create your own. And if you want to know more about this, uh, you can read them here, you know, how to use filter X, uh, filtering criteria, navigating. But let's start our own filter. So today I'm looking for FTSE 100 companies with a dividend above 3.5% that have dividend cover and a healthy operating margin. So as you can see, we've got 26 pages here. On each page, there are 100 stocks, so a minimum, uh, well, a maximum of 2,600 stocks loaded up. So let's add some columns. Market cap, I need that. I'm looking for big stocks. Uh, let's add another column. What am I looking, else looking for? Uh, dividend yield, yes. What else am I looking for? Uh, I need to know if they can pay their dividend. So they have enough earnings to pay it out. Dividend cover, very important when looking for dividend yield. Uh, operating margin, yeah, I want uh, healthy companies above 10% operating margin. So let's just start there. One, two, three, four columns. Quite a simple screener. Uh, you can add as many columns as you want. As you can see, if, uh, if I click this, look at that. A plethora, a multitude of criteria to add. And on this, deeper analysis. Price to pre-tax profits, cash flow, return on capital employed, net profit margin, debt ratios, you know, uh, cash flow, you know, phenomenal amount. Uh, Flash reports, turnover, assets, creditors, long short. So you know you can spend all day on this, and sometimes I do. <laughs> but uh, let's start. So if you click on the top of a column, it'll reorder the column from high to low or low to high. If you click on uh, a number in the column, it'll bring up the filtering process. So, click, exclude market cap less than, and I'm looking at uh, companies over uh, 4 billion, because that's run about the FTSE 100 level, I think it's a bit higher than that, four, I think 4.3 billion, I think it's run about. So, we have now have two pages, we've filled it already down from 26 pages down to two pages, uh, 100 each page there. So, I'm looking for a dividend yield above 3.5%, so I'll exclude companies at less than three and a half percent so type 3.5 in there submit and let's see what it brings up one page of 30 stocks ideal already gone from 2600 down to 30 stocks i want to make sure the company can afford to pay out the dividends from their earnings so i want a cover of one at least submit exclude all companies less than the cover of one down to 15 stocks and I want an operating margin of 10%, so exclude companies less than 10%. Submit. What have I got? I've got British American Tobacco, the the National Grid, Old Mutual, Standard Life, United Utilities, Aberdeen Asset Management, Direct Line, Seven Trend, Into Properties, and Admiral Group. So down to 10. So then you can take it further if you want. You can say, right, let's look at something else. Let's look at, uh, say, for example, um, dividend payout ratio. That means the amount they're paying out from their earnings in a percentage form. And I don't want companies that are paying out a ridiculous amount because it's maybe not sustainable. Uh, so Admiral, let's go less than three quarters, 75%, uh, I'm not interested in. So, uh, no, exclude, sorry, greater this time. Exclude companies greater than 75%, submit. Add it down to that. And like you can keep adding filters if you want to be more picky. Return on capital employed, let's do that. So. This is how efficient a company is employing their capital. And uh, let's order that into order. Uh, let's say I go, uh, I don't want to go anything below, say, um, 5%. So exclude companies that have less 
Return of capital of 5%. Submit that. I'm now down to three stocks. British American Tobacco, Good Income Payers, National Grid, and United Utilities. So, essentially, two utilities and a tobacco company. We know that it's pretty much British American Tobacco, a big fan of uh, Neil Woodford, star fund managers, big fan of those. And if you click on any of these, it'll take you to their financial pages where you can see exactly everything you need to know financially about the company. <laughs> Look at all these. Uh, return on equity, operating, uh, cash, fl cash per share. And then it's got uh, debt ratios, solvency ratios, return on capital employed. It's got the dividend dates. It's got their um, turnover by the year and the pre-tax profit. Creditors, liabilities. It's got everything you'd need to know. In fact, way too much, more than you need to know. So let's go back to the filter page a second. I think, well, I like that. I like that future reference. So what I'm going to do now is save that filter. And you go big. Or let's go FTSE 100. Oh, look, I've got one there. A previous one I've saved. Uh, one. Save that. And that's there. And the list you saw there was previous filters I'd saved. And, and so you can look at those another day. But it's very handy. And like I say, you, you, can, you can spend weeks and months looking at different companies through different criteria by using this screening process. It's very handy to do a quick check on companies. And you can compare sectors and anything on here. I'll do some more screens later. But that's the first sort of uh, quite a basic filter. Just looking at big companies that pay 3.5% dividend or more. The dividend cover, operating margin above 10%. And uh, the payout ratio, payout ratio is above uh, or below 75%. Um, so you can see, I hope that helps. There'll be more videos on the way. But in the meantime, if you're not registered with ADVFN, then you're not using a, a very valuable free resource. <laughs>